Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy and I have returned to Summoner's Rift. Due to popular demand, you guys want more educational commentary. We're back to the unranked the challenger grind. Uh, as you can see on the graphic above my cam, I am 4-1 and one on this account. This is the uh, unranked the challenger account. So we're 4-1, and one. we are in plat MMR after 5 whole games. Our one loss was from uh, having to play a 4v5 and we actually almost won that. But um, yeah, we're back to Summoner's Rift. We're against Imal Zahar. So I'm running Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Alacrity, Kurik Ra. And since this is a pretty easy matchup, I'm taking Ignite, Mana Flow, and Scorch for slightly stronger laning pace. So after we get like Lost Chapter, we can start like really pressuring this guy, poke him down, try to get some solo kills. And uh, yeah. Also, I have a really exciting announcement to make, guys. I am going to Korea to have a little solo queue boot camp, see how high I can climb. I'll be going with a ton of other streamers that you probably know of, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited for that, and I hope you guys are excited for that type of content too. I'm gonna see how high I can climb, see if we can get Challenger in Korea and play against the very best pros in the world. Maybe have some more rematches with Faker, that'd be really fun, he was so much fun to play against. Like to play against uh, Chovy, Showmaker, all these other dudes. Zika is also like an insane green player. I'd love to go against. See how my Azir can do against uh, someone like that insane at laning phase. And uh, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna be farming up in his lane. Pretty boring early game. We're just like pushing waves until we have enough gold for like a lost chapter. Yeah, once I get this lost chapter, I'm gonna try to like kill this guy. Poke him down. Finish him off with Ignite. Gotta keep my uh, mana healthy. Since this guy has teleport and I don't. So I don't want to get TP gapped. Yeah. Team got first blood, hey yeah. Let's get a gank, I'm gonna pop this guy's shield right now. Sekirim is uh, doing top crab. Ooh, he's stepping up. Try to land E on him. Ooh, nice. Oh, we actually get the kill here. Nice. Ekrim popped the ghost and just did so much damage to that guy. Oh my gosh. He's gonna push my wave, which I am okay with, considering uh, this guy's about to TP back. And I can get myself a recall off. I'd have to be like stuck in laning phase for like another like two minutes if he didn't push my wave there. So that's pretty good. Probably playing in Smurf Q. Holy! Our Hecarim is about to get really fed, or he's about to get really sad here. Okay, it looks like he's gonna get really fed here. He's gonna one v nine this game, I guess. Shut down. Oh, he did. <laughs> Who got the shutdown? Melios three and zero. Very cool. Well, we got lost chapter now, so I'm officially a champion, and I can start uh, harassing this guy. Try to get some solo kills. Get the Scorch and Ignite combo. I'll be able to just like spam my Q on this guy now. Also for Korea, do you guys want to see uh, edited content? It'd be like 20-30 minute videos of just like solo queue highlights. Or do you guys want full gameplay commentary? Let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see me post on this channel. I am here to inform and entertain you guys, so whatever y'all want, I do. Might just come top here. Although the Scion might just die before I get there. Yeah, the Scion's just dead. There's no point in me like even walking up. Seems kind of cracked so far. Okay, Mal's just hit level 6. He's got a pretty big XP lead on me since Hecarim and I shared a cannon wave together. Pop a shield. How'd that hit me, bro? Hmm? So much action on the map, and I'm here playing a mage just like waiting for my power spikes. Sorry, right, we'll be the champ that closes out the game. That's why I love Azir. Well, early game, but late game, the, get the win is just guaranteed. Just dominate team fights. 
Ah, the space aids. This guy's playing very safe. Okay, we might get a gank mid soon. Now, let me show chat since I have my camera over here now. Let's put this right here, I guess. Let's pop the shield. There we go. There's no flash. He's just like hiding back here. I use my E just to like absorb some damage here. Uh, next wave is kind of far, but. I want this Mazar hard to start walking up more, so I'm gonna just like take some damage here and have a small freeze going. Oh shit, he cancelled his recall. He wants to uh, fight Ringar. No, this might just be a teleport matchup. The Malzus is just playing so safe. Hellblade's also insanely good in this matchup too. But I'm just like so obsessed with scaling with lethal tempo because it's just like so broken mid late game. Alright, I think we just shove one more wave and then reset because I'm kind of unhealthy here. Malzahar's playing super safe. He's like really scared of getting ganked or just doing anything aggressive whatsoever. Alrighty, oh. I'm gonna back for boots here. A little scary for me to reset there, like Malzahar could have, like if they had knowledge of my Hecarim being in their raptors, it would have been very bad for him. It'd be 1v2 since I left. Ooh, he's gonna hold my wave. Pog oh, champ. I'm pogging. I don't have E, so if he gets ulted... Then let's ult him. Nice. Yeah, he ran out of mana, so I actually didn't have to ult there. Oh shit. Holy, that dude hurts. He's level 5 with a Dirk. Wait, he dies for this. Never mind, he has Amelia, so... Unfortunately, he does not die for that. We get the Berserker Greaves and the attack speed feels so nice here. Alright, we're just gonna shove in his wave and go for a reset and heal up. Ah. I think I might hit 6 and just like come out mid right now. Oh! Oh! Okay, he flashed. I had to respect that, because if he lands Q, I die. Fun fact, if you may or may not know this, Malzahar Q will reset his like, E. There is no and we don't want that. That would hurt. That would die. Um, can't really buy anything. I'm just gonna get a recurve bow, get even more attack speed to uh, match this guy's push. Malzahar is just AFK pushing every single wave. Nice, our topside is doing so good. AC is kind of getting destroyed, but I mean, it is Draven Milio. It's like one of the strongest bot lane pairings. Draven getting extra auto attack range on his uh, Q that does several hundred damage early game. Oh, Q just barely missed there. Alright, well, I think next time I play this matchup, I'm just going to take TP because. Holy crap, this guy is boring. Hard to get some autos on him when he's playing so far back and just pressing E. Oh, there he plays smart. I never know like what kind of player I'm gonna go against. Cause there's just so many smurfs. Hey, there's a ton of people in the river here getting dragon. Um, this is kind of a bad fight. Oh, oh it's good now. Alright, cool. An enemy has been slain. Our Swain, like, actually lives so long there. Kind of surprised. I thought he would get, like, destroyed. And I thought Malzahar would actually help his team. Instead, he just, like, sat in that bush. 
and tried to like zone me or something. I thought he would do more than that. So I thought it'd be a bad fight. Because my bot lane was outnumbered in the pit for quite a bit there. Alrighty. I'll go ahead and take a reset here and spend my 1500 gold. I'm gonna keep going for um, Master Tooth here. I, I just want to talk speed. I think I do Blasting One and Amplifying Tone. That gives me 60 AP, much better than Codex by itself. Alrighty. How much attack speed we got? 1.42? Oh, hell yeah. That's a lot. Let me even more with Ethel Tempo. I don't know about you guys, but the more attack speed I have on his ear, the more fun he feels to play. I think my experiment with uh, Conquer is over. It's really good, but like Lethal Tempo just feels better, you know? It just feels good. Back your shield, bro! Oh my god, I'm getting ganked by a Draven right now. Huh? What are you doing there? Meanwhile, Milio is like farming bot lane. <laughs> so it could use... I don't have ult yet. Alright, kill him with regular autos. The recurve bow like, was actually kind of strong there. <laughs> right, we run back for this one measly CS. Boom, I'm fed. Ooh. Ooh. You can get him, he's too tanky. Wait, how does Cyan have like a full item despite going 0-4? I guess his CS is really good. Vengar might be above me. That is what my jungler is saying. And the way this Malzahar is clicking upwards makes me believe that is true. Yeah, yeah, pop the shield. Ooh, my autos do 170? That's actually so cracked. Okay, Rengar went top instead of coming mid there, I see. I guess I should have pinged the uh, danger for our top laner. Gotta get my map awareness back to a challenger level. Being a Twitch streamer has made all my map awareness go to my Twitch chat. Kinda zoned from the lane. Yeah, we have so much gold, so I'm probably just gonna reset here after this next wave. Your CS is pretty good considering I have Ignite. If I TP, I'd have like 10 CS a minute. Oops. If I tried a tiny bit harder, velocities. I have to stay on the map while my Hecarim uh, invades. I want to reset here for item, but it's just like... I need to pressure so he can be aggressive. This is how you play off your jungler. So uh, he's in in a fight here. Oh my god, there's four of them. And uh he did. Fortunately he's been outplayed by the Malza Harold. Oh. Huh? Ah, I didn't time that right. Looks like it hit him though. Aww. Well, I did not expect this guy to have a stopwatch. That's interesting. He must have it from his runes. Okay, well, honestly, did not expect that. I was going to finish off Malzahar, then flash up. But my EQ took me over the tower because he zoned. And then I had to go down here. And this time I ult on the Rengar, so I couldn't cancel his uh, auto attack leap. But it was like off by like a millisecond. It was a good try. Yeah, that, there's a way to uh, counter Rengar like that. Yeah, we're gonna go for Ludens now. And I'm just gonna side lane. Arm up and hit towers. Wow, why are they invading us? I actually don't understand why they're in our jungle here. Uh oh. Eey, I got blue buff. 
Oh, I got cancelled. No, uh, he's gonna get away. Very lame. Oh, I need to go cover mid. Bot wave is pushed. Oh, that almost hit me. I'm gonna clear this ward. And I go mid. Because that wave is almost crash. And my damage feels so good. Zero is in a really good spot right now. I think he has like a 49% win rate, and he's like the 10th most played uh, mid laner. Which is very cool. Right, let's go ahead and start dragging while we have mid prio and bot prio. And our jungler is here, so it's like the perfect time to do dragon. All the conditions are met. Kill this kid. Oh, we ult in him? <laughs> Just threw him over the wall. There's nothing he could do. He's actually their carry. He was 4-1. Uh, and one. Funny. But he is the best KDE on the team. Kind of doomed if your support has all the kills, isn't it? If you can finish off this tower, and they eat the Malzah Heart I don't care. Oh. Oh, I... I can't move for 5 seconds, man. Seriously? Damn. I still think Swain could cancel the Mal's ult. But... I don't know, maybe his E was on cooldown, or his hands are just... tied behind his back. I'm not sure which. But it's fine. We still get Herald. We got the mid tower. And I ate two ultimates. I don't expect the Cyan to come ulting in like that. This guy's actually a problem now. He's kind of getting fed. And he has so much HP. So it's kind of... kind of wishing I had all the Andres now. We have a Yone with Blade Room King at least. So he'll shred him. So Samira's going side lane, so I guess I'll go mid again. Duskblade Samira. I can drop my tower now and just like pressure map. Although our ADC is like suddenly recalling, which kind of sucks. She's getting collector? Yeah, she is that at least. I'd prefer a top beep like pushing right now while I have my tower up. But at least there's pressure bot lane. Whoa, bro took so much damage. He like took a whole two, three seconds to like realize wait, I'm dying. <laughs> Okay, there's four bot sides, so this is free tower. Might even dive this Draven. He dies. Yay. Oh no, he cleansed my Ignite. I heard the cleanse. Why does he have cleanse? It makes no sense why he has cleanse right now. I guess he took it just for exhaust? I'm so confused. Why he took cleanse. Oh, there's a party down there. I only have a few minions here. No point in like hitting this tower. Maybe I come down here. Although I don't think my team even needs me. Actually, yeah, I'm here. Oh, what up? They might surrender. If this game ends now, I'll do a game two for you guys. Or if you guys want, let me know in the comments if you just want like two games for unranked the challenger video. And I got you. Yeah, we back on Summoner's Rift, and we're taking a break from 2v2 on this channel. Because honestly, the past few 2v2 videos did so, so, so bad. It makes me really sad, because it's like such unique content that you don't get on Summoner's Rift. Like, Zier is creating, I become a, a Yumi. I'm attached to an Alistar, so it's like the perfect bodyguard. They can't ever touch me. I don't know, it's like just really unique things you, you just won't ever, ever see on Summoner's Rift. I was kind of disappointed to see past few videos do so bad, but seems you guys prefer Summoner's Rift. So that's what we'll do. 
Yeah, we do win Baron here. I'm a two item Azir, so we'll shred this really fast. And uh, Yoni's uh, distracting them by killing them to death. I'm gonna do Crab here. Dragon's about to spawn. So, um, I don't really want to group here. I just want to reset. Oh, we're playing for tower. Okay, I'm just gonna help out Yone then. While he uh, kills him to death. It's pressuring mid. His team is on map, I can't really reset. What the? The long leap. Oh. Okay, he doesn't have his knockup anymore, so I'm gonna just take this tower. Good macro. Wait, what? He's getting ulted? So it, Yone E cancels uh, CC, I guess. <laughs> Bro just walked it off. He got Mal's ulted and he just walked it off. Kinda funny. Alright, let's see. Uh, I can just kinda go whatever I want here, actually. Maybe Shadow Flame. They're not buying MR. Plan's just stacking HP. He's not really that tanky. I can go uh, Magic Pen and one shot these four champions because they're very squishy. Green your 10 AP, three items is very nice. Let's take blue. Kind of farming and commentating this game. Team is kind of cracked. It's gonna give Raptors and then once my team is back on map, I'll go bot lane. Ooh, actually, we can evade their blue and then go bot. I'm gonna take all of the resources. And thing to all in that guy. Okay, so let's push top in mid. I think we'll end the game if we get any more kills here. Yeah, enemy team is just getting ran over. All right, GG. This is it. That was the final battle. A pretty easy game. Oh my god, this guy is shooting on me. Help! Ignite him. We did it. We got our fifth win on the unranked challenger account. And I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to body like button, subscribe for daily content. And since that was a pretty short game, I'll include a game too. So I'll check y'all out. I'll see y'all in game two. Peace. Alrighty guys, this is game number two. Plat two MMR, game number seven in our unranked the challenger series. Let's do it. Running versus a victor. And I'm running hyperscaling runes with teleport. Oh, I'm already taking poke. Matchup's kind of hard early because he's going to be poking me down with his E. And uh, we need to auto space his Q, never let him like Q me for free because he'll just get a shield. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be farming up for the late game so that we can carry the late game fights. And we're just going to play off our jungler who is apparently one of the most broken early game junglers in the game right now as like the highest win rate in for, like solo Q. Oh, we'll just hope he uh, ganks. And we'll play off that. The early game. Ah! Oh my god, that actually did not hit me. And dodging victory is kind of hard because it comes out so fast. Yeah, I was gonna conserve mana, try to outfarm this guy. Doing so, doing pretty good on that so far. Haven't missed the CS. He's missed like two. They have an Amumu, which is like actually one of my least. Favorite champs in the game to play against. He has so much CC and damage. Nice, so I step that. Matchup is all about how many victor E's you can dodge. I'll put two points in W. Ouch. 
be farming up for lost chapter and then they can start like trading cubes with him. It's not really worth it early game because I'll just run out of mana. And the mage versus mage is just all about out sustaining each other in the early laning phase. I already have the mana advantage and I still have two potions so it's like his poke is not really doing anything. He's actually just like running out of mana trying to uh, harass me. It's just not worth it. You play super aggressive early game as a mage. It's not worth the mana costs. <laughs> I'm just always moving left and right to make it hard for him to land disease. Nice, got two autos on in there. Next size top. Since Amumu could be top side, I'm gonna start like hard shoving. If I can get Pryo, I need to fight at a uh, crab. Yeah, gonna pot up here. Zane's moving. Run, Rek'Sai, run. I cannot help him. It would be foolish. It is foolish because the Amumu is right behind them, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it, brother. Alright, nice. He's out. I need a ward right here. I win the long fights versus Victor. Oh, he made me lose a cannon. I kind of had to back up there because I wasn't sure if Amumu was sitting in that bush. Right, he's pretty much out of mana. He can use like one more ability and then he's out. So he's probably just going to shove and reset here. And I want to do the same. Ooh, I might be getting a gank. Oh, that was perfect. We both flashed on him for the kill. Let's go. We got first blood. So now I can just reset right now. And we'll go pick up Lost Chapter and I'll have pretty big advantage on this guy. I'll get Boots and Lost Chapter here. Unless I can get... Uh, actually, I can get Dark Seal and Lost Chapter. That's even better. I love damage. Oh, my Gragas is ahead in CS versus a Vayne. That's kind of surprising. I don't mind. Vayne just has a giant wave, that's why. I'm wondering. Holy, my soldier damage is kind of disgusting. Don't show Riot gains. These minions are getting owned. Everyone will know the name. Yeah, I can finally play aggressive now that I have a chapter. Yeah. Nice. The order is given. Yeah, um... What are we right here? Well, very good vision on our bot side. Will be ungankable from the bottom side. Nice, we dodge those. I'm really hugging my boss side here, so it's a lot harder to gank me. Saw someone there? Oh, they're probably doing dragon. I mean, they could. Their bot lane was off map. I got a one shot this guy. Oh wow, that hit me. Make sure I don't get ganked. Dude. I'm gonna poke him one more time before I all in him. Next time my Q is up, I'll look for all in. Try to kill him here. I feel like a Mumu's here. The way this guy's positioning. Hey, Z's down. I'm looking for an all in. Playing really, really far back though. I can't really reach him. Oh, the perfect delivery to the Rek'Sai! And I get another kill, let's go! Hell yeah, much better than the game I just played before this one. I'm fed. I'm freaking fed. Wow, my autos are doing 110. It's so good. It's just so weird after like years and years of being a weak champion that I'm doing damage. I'm just like surprised every time I auto attack. <laughs> like what? My champ is like not disgustingly weak anymore? Weird. Still not used to it. I like pog every time I see uh, over 100 damage this early in the game. Whoa. Alright, we're going Ludens because 
all of their threats are very squishy. We want to burst them. I'm gonna ease down. Yeah, all right. We got two Dark Seal stacks, which he just bought refillable. We got the Blasting one. I'm 127 AP now. Very nice. And we'll catch this wave before it hits the tower. Um, he's putting his wards topside, so we can play for Dragon with my prior. I'm a thing to uh, be dragon here. I just have a feeling it is a good time to do it. And I'm gonna walk this way so I don't see which direction I'm going. Now I go this way to the dragon. And I'll keep doing it. Green Infernal Dragon this early is really nice. And yep, I had a feeling the jungle was topside because Victor put his ward topside. I will trade my top laner for an Infernal Dragon every single day of the week. Monday, Sunday through Saturday. Every day, all day. Top laners are useless. They're not useless, it's the role that's useless. So they're doing Herald, that's for sure. So my jungler is making an insanely good decision to die bot right now. Well played with the macro. I might get a play tier if Victor's helping with a Herald. We're just getting so much on the map right now. I want an EOA. Damn, bro. Two. What the hell? And drop Herald here. He's not. How aggressive Victor was right there. Like, it's pretty obvious that Amumu was coming. Gonna maybe all in Victor right there. Since he, yeah, I should have since he had ulted me. But his flash is up, I think. Oh, scary. Oh. I don't want to engage because then I'll just get like CC chain. Maybe I look here. Oh, he just eat over the wall for raptors, so can't go in yet. The next way is pretty far. I'll just let Rek'Sai farm his topside camps and I'll get my Ludens. So we don't like force anything sitting on tons of gold. Yeah, like I announced in game one of this video, I'm going to Korea, so I'm gonna be playing a lot more solo queue, unfortunately. Um, try to get back in peak form so we can climb the challenger in Korean solo queue. But yeah, once again, guys, let me know down below in the comments what kind of comment content you want to see from that. Do you want long form content of like educational commentary, full gameplay, or do you want fully edited? 20, 30 minute solo queue pop off videos from my time in Korea there. Let me know. Also, do you guys want to see me try to climb as high as possible in 2v2 playing Azir? Because I am so obsessed with that mode. So much fun. It's all the fun parts. It's like all my favorite parts about League, which is just like the fighting, skirmishing. My favorite modes in League are like ARAM and 2v2 and PFP. I love the RNG augments from TFT. I love the constant fighting and team fighting in uh, 2v2. Oh, this guy's dead. He dead as fuck. And one more auto. I have to run though, because I'm outnumbered here. And yeah, Bane's right there. Oh my god, she's ghosting on me. Ah, oh, so scary. Ah, oh. oh, don't do anything. Oh, are you shitting me? She has flash as well. I was going to eat over this wall. She really has both sons, man. Ooh, that's crazy. That's so crazy. You can just run me down like that. Jeez. He only has a shiv? Okay. That's a problem. Whatever. Fine. I'm gonna give it Zerger Greaves because I love attack speed. Here's Balling. Okay. Can I TP right here? I can. I'll get trapped by Jinx though, but I'm gonna say fuck it YOLO. Looks like I don't have ult here. 
Oh, that's is good. Kill Janna and go for. Oh! I just one topped Jinx with a 12 damage auto with that and got the kill. Let's go. I earned that kill. Haha. <laughs> Caitlyn should be going mid, but she's so late to it that I guess I'll go mid. Like, she's just autopiloting right now. You always want to be mid lane when there's just nothing to farm, you know? Sai is such a homie. You let me have that. Dude, this Caitlyn, like, is just AFK in the brain right now. She's going bot for like zero minions. Okay, dragon's coming up soon. Uh, the vein is cracked. I'm up two levels on victory. That's really good. I'm like almost 40 CS. That's huge. Ain't probably a smurf. She's playing so well, mechanically at least. The farm sucks. Despite having shiv, didn't have TP. And our Caitlyn actually kind of fucking ran it down. Damn. She walked all the way bot and overextended, and what do you know, she died. We're gonna lose top tower. I think your Raptors, they maybe should have been on the Cloud Dragon. Oh. oh my goodness, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but my dog is going berserk. Oh, I missed the cannon. We have smites. Yes. <laughs> There's a Jinx soul. Chemtech Dragon Soul. Caitlyn is once again gonna go bot, so I guess I'll just stay mid and farm. Fine about that anyway. Alright, I think I reset here. Nothing to do on the map for a while. Skragus must be bored out of his mind playing that champion into a range champ. At least I would be. Let me just stack up. More damages, more attack speed. He's gonna take my wave? Nope. Oh my god, my Kaelin needs to stop getting caught. When is she gonna learn? Not to overextend so much. Vayne has no sums, I really need to try and alter. Okay, just like... This is so bad. And Nami took the kill. My EQ went off really late there. It's fine, we got the kill anyway. And we're actually winning this fight. It's actually that freaking strong. You're actually strong. Hell yeah. Okay, we got our flash. That's good. We'll steal wolves and then go to Herald. And all these tanking the Herald for fun, I guess. I want to push mid while they do this. I don't really want to be here. I'd appreciate the eye here so I can uh, more tempo on the map. Got my recall here. By Codex. Eh, that's good enough. I'll walk mid, and our Caitlyn is caught again. Ooh, she's playing it well though. Mechanically. Good job. Ooh, she's out. Well played. And our Ragus is just getting soloed. Bro is kind of useless. Drop Herald here. Okay. Up a word up here. Return. 
really wanted to like all these guys, but they're a bit too close to their tower. Look at that bloop. Get off my tower. Ooh. I need our Gragas to be closer here. Let's just steal their Raptors. Oh, we are hard committing. Okay, nice. Need to play for your dragon here. Those who follow me, follow. 30. Guess I'll go ahead and get blue buff. Actually, I'll go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and recall here. My Nasher Tooth. So that for the dragon fights, I'll have a lot more damage. So we're gonna have to fight here. Our team's kind of overstaying instead of resetting. Okay, but I like should have pinged them back. Climbing in solo queue means like you need to be a good shot caller too and ping your teammates. Tactically. Be the general. Oh, he's on me. Ouch. Lots of poop. Mm. Fuck. That's bad. I should not try to help my team. Need to play for myself. Oopsie. Damn, we should be getting this dragon. Quite unfortunate. Uh. Ooh, nice. I can maybe TP this. Might TP down here. Yeah, I TP down here. I'm a bit far away, but I thought they'd be retreating towards their jungle. Oh. Wow, they're living with one HP. Okay, our Nami's insane. She's gonna double kill them. Oh! Oh, Janna gets away. Just kidding. She has flash. Holy crap. Nami with the cleanup. Let's go. Alrighty. We really need to focus Vayne, guys. We focus Vayne. I think she has no suns now. So I can just like go for an ult on her, maybe. But I'm also like all of our DPS. So if I go in, kind of bad. We'll lose out on a lot of damage from me just auto-attacking. That lane is literally their whole team. I mean, actually, Victor's really strong, too. Fuck. It's two items. Like the sun. Probably got a shutdown or something. Now this game is going to... Like, we lost a lot of tempo. From just overstaying bot. And then all dying, one by one. Legacy will endure. Oh. This guy's a wit's end, that's not good. He's pretty tanky now. I'm going to grab it on next item. Okay, damn, he kind of critting me with one item, I guess. Vayne's a bot lane. Nice, we got it. I'll go back to farming top. 
and my team will catch pot with the vein off our base. Oh shit, we killed Victor. That's good. Down is mid. I get top tower for free then. Only have to worry about a Mumu and Jinx. Nope, just the Mumu. He's staying top tier is really good. Is there bot lane? Oh, there they go. Ooh, a blue. Probably on a ward here. Thanks for leash. Saka? Ah, ha, ha. Oh, I think I reset. Oh, I definitely reset. Oh, I'm getting fucking TP on. I definitely reset. Nah, you're tripping! Nah, these guys are tripping. I really brought three tops just like that, that easily. No shot, bro. Look at this. They are just outplaying themselves macro on the macro level. I having three top right there. So we get a bot tower since I stay top and push that. Weep. Why is my ADC in the front line here? Okay, nice. They have no follow up. Actually, yeah. I kind of win this until Vayne gets an auto attack range. The Mumu had zero follow up. He was counting on his own four Jinx to like pop off there, I guess. Kind of got worried, but Vayne was too far. And so was Victor. Otherwise, that would have been a really nutty engage. Okay, that was nutty from Bragus. Well played, buddy. Can't move, I can't move. Help, help, help. Holy fuck. I'm on HP. Huh? The fruit was just right there. Did y'all see that? And then it disappeared. I got scanned. Alright, what's in this? Time to end this. There's no ult. What's he doing? What's he thinking? Dog oh, doing. Well, I think that's it. I think that is GG. So I forgot to show damage chart and all that last game. We'll do this game. GG's. Hope y'all enjoyed. Unrank the Challenger series commentary. Body the like button. Subscribe for daily content. We'll check out this damage. Did we top the damage charts or was it the ultra fed vein? Let's see. Ooh, ooh, Hextech Chess. Oh, hey. Oh my god, I got promoted to gold four. What's crazy is I'm gold four playing with plat two. Like, I was actually silver, actually. I, was, I think I was silver too. But anyway. Oh, wait. Kaelin actually out damaged me. Alright, it's fine. GG's, body like button, subscribe for daily content if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Peace!